Well, today I'm going to try to make a heavy mallet. Uh, you can see I have these two smaller wooden hammers that I've made. And uh, they do a good job, but they don't have a lot of mass to them. So what I have today is I cut what I think is a chunk of babinga wood. It's really massive. It almost almost feels like it's metal. And uh, I don't want to lose a lot of this mass, so I'm not going to try to spin it on the lathe. I'm going to leave it blunt, maybe uh, fix up the edges a little bit. And I'm going to make a handle with this piece of wood. I'm not even sure what it is, but take a look at that grain. It's parallel and variegated. looks beautiful. I used it earlier to make a bar tap handle. And take a look at the grain patterns you get on that. Isn't that beautiful? So uh, if you can leave in the comments, if you know what that is, let me know. But So now I'm going to find the center of this square. And I'll just go ahead and make a little crisscross here in the center. And do that on both sides. And then I'll take this spring-loaded punch, so I can do that like that, set it here, and give it a shot. And flip around, do the same thing on this side. And now I can go ahead and load it into the lathe and make it round. Well, take a look at the grain I'm getting on this just as I had expected. It's striated and just really beautiful. So now I have to decide how big I want this handle to be at the insertion point. And I have a Forstner bit and this is one, one inch. And I think I'm going to go in there with a one inch. Remember, I'm not going to remove hardly any material from this. So I want a pretty beefy handle for this. So I'm going to be going in here with one inch. So what I'm going to plan to do down here at the end is I'm going to make it one inch and then I'm going to slightly taper up. So as I drive it into the mallet itself, at some point it's going to bind and get in there really tight and I can glue it in. You have to really make a good decision on how long you want to make it. If you, if you have a big massive head like this and you have a little tiny handle, you don't get any force with it. You know, you remember you're driving with your forearm, not just your wrist. So if you make it long enough, then you can actually have a pretty good amount of force applied. If you make it too long, it's just ungainly and hard to deal with. So we'll decide that in a little bit.
I love this grain. It's beautiful. And I'm going to put some of this boiled linseed oil on it. I chose this because this isn't supposed to be a piece of furniture or something or something to put on display. This is going to be a, a, a workable mallet that I want to use in my shop. And so this will be a nice finish. So I'll go ahead and apply this. I'll probably put two coats and then put paste wax on it. on and probably give it about 10 minutes to soak in and then put another layer on and then I'll end up waxing it later today. Woo! <laughs> Look at that grain. Gee, it's too nice to be a mallet. So to give you an idea of what I did next, I drew diagonal lines from corner to corner, used the punch to make a center spot. And then I measured the distance. My handle's gonna go into this mallet. So what I'll do is I'll transfer that distance to the edge here and set my drill press to stop at that point so I won't go too much beyond that point. So that's my next setup here. Here we go, I'm gonna have to go slow. This is very hard and I'll keep coming out to clean out the hole and keep it cool. I will do a quick depth check to see if I'm where I should be and it looks good. What I'm going to do is just take away the real rough edges that are on some of the surfaces. I'm going to take those away and then I'm going to knock off all the corners, all the way around, knock those off, and so I won't have any sharp corners left. You can see I now have my mallet uh, with my round edges on there, but I was using fairly coarse sandpaper, so you can see there's some scratching across here. So now I'm going to take it down with some finer paper. The problem with this very, very dense wood is that you get uh, scratches that are hard to take out and you also can get burns if you hold it in one spot too long. So I use this little saw to cut it off at the tail end and you can see this is the larger surface and I um, use the cutoff tool to make a gouge in here and now I can come through right here and just cut through and then sand this off later. Nice easy cut. Now if we take a look over here. This is my mallet and I'm going to put a coat of linseed oil on that and see what I get. Here we go with the uh, boiled linseed oil. This should pop it out pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah that looks nice. And I'll just go over like I did before with the handle. I'm going to go over every surface, let it dry, and go over it a second time and then put a coat of um, paste wax on it. You can see, wow, that's looking pretty. Remember, this is supposed to be for just daily use, but um, it's nice to make things pretty too because then you can say, I made that, you know, to yourself, if to nobody else. And wow, look at that grain. <whistles> looking good. Okay. Next step, glue it into the handle. Even though I got this wood as a donation, it's really hard to take something that beautiful and start beating it up on things. I hope you enjoyed this video.